Let's go ahead and take out the uh, mass sensor here. And while we're at it, might as well uh, give this a spray. Remove this from the box. We got this out of the way. Now I gotta figure out how to remo remove this. One more area to remove from the top of the air box. So I'm gonna pull this very hard. There we go. Gotta try to remove this. Loosen the screw here. Oh, it's off now. Now I need to remove this. Very difficult to remove this here. Sprayed it with liquid ranch. And some uh, grease. All right, we're going to put the hoses back into this, the EVAP hose. This goes right here. That space is so tight, I just don't know how to, it's, everything's going to fit. So right there, it's resting against this hose and uh, it's butting against this plate for the battery support and then the end is here so I really can't move it any further this is the most I can do unless I push it down a little bit more but there's no more there's no more room I don't think the hose is gonna fit when you look at it that's about a finger's length About that one yeah there's no way that's gonna fit so I got to push this even further in if possible or down Let's see here. okay so you have to really force this in here try to get the clamps in now that in there let's go ahead and put the velocity stack in there all right we're gonna try to put this stack in here
pop it out. Yeah. Pop it in. Get that tip in there. Let's go ahead and tighten this up. All right, now that we got that in place, we're gonna go ahead and try to put, connect this part. I had a Reynolds wrap, cellophane wrap in here because I couldn't finish this in a day. So that was covering the throttle body, fuel, whatever that's called. Where this hose is going to connect to. There we go. That was easy. I'm gonna get this part. This thing's stuck. big too tight that's what she said oh god I'm gonna break this thing there okay so it's got to go up because this is bending down and this is going that way so you got it going like this you gotta make it a line do here. Oh, I pain in the ass, dude. Oh, finally got it okay situated. Crushed. It's better you take the battery out. So I'm gonna go ahead and tighten this up. Try putting the uh, MAF in there and see if the cable fits it, reaches to it. And then I gotta get uh, screws, the proper screws. Oh God, can't fit. Great. Wonderful. Instead of taking it all apart again, oh my god, I'm gonna try to twist this around and see if this works. Okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna have a problem with screwing it in. So if you do this, you got to put the math in first instead of afterwards. As you can see, it's got the risers there. Whereas this doesn't have that. So it's too short. The screws are too short. And these holes are too small for the screw. Went to Home Depot and bought some number four screws, uh, three quarter inches. Hopefully that fits, but it's a tight spot as you can see. This, this is the screws here. So. Remember, my mistake, you gotta get it, the MAF all secured onto the housing before you uh, install everything. OK. 
Okay, I got that seated in there. Got enough space here to do this with the wrench, but the other side there's not enough space. That's good. At least I got this side in. It's a little loose because I can't get into that screw. Okay, we got to put another hose. In. Oh, shit. My fingers are not strong enough. Does fit the cable does fit it does reach all right I'm gonna put the battery back So we're going to secure this and then put in the uh, terminals of the battery and give the uh, car a start. So there it is behind the battery. Eight five 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 zero. Oh. Just finished putting in the velocity stack. Go out and get it and have fun and be safe. Bye.